Hi, I'm Nico Valenzuela. I'm a landscape, travel, and architectural photographer. And today we'll talk about the all-new Sony Alpha 7C. Upon its announcement, this camera has taken the world by storm and has impressed photographers all over the world with the portability of an APS-C, yet the power of a Sony Alpha full-frame camera. This can be a perfect camera for on-the-go photo and video digital creatives who capture life, landscapes, people, food, and everything else. It can render perfectly for social media, print, and commercial use. The A7C packs a 24.2 megapixel Exmor R sensor that uses backside illumination for better light collection and image resolution. It's capable of recording a dynamic range of 15 stops of light. It's equipped with the Bions X image processor for outstanding color reproduction, capable of creating 14-bit raw images. This Sony A7C can shoot up to 10 frames per second with AF and AE tracking and can shoot silent shooting at the same rate with the electronic shutter. It uses 4D focus acquisition and tracking with 693 face detect AF points that cover 93% of the frame. It can focus from negative 4 to positive 20 EVF. To make things easier, it also features real-time IAF for both humans and animals. This also packs a 5-axis in-body stabilization that makes up for the 5 different types of camera shake. It has a compensation effect of about 5 stops. The A7C is also capable of outstanding video production with an output of 4K 30 or 1920 by 1080p at 120 frames per second, producing 8-bit video with a color sampling of 420. It also has SNQ mode at 120 fps in full HD. It comes in the size of only 2.87 by 5 inches in lightweight magnesium alloy that improves dust and moisture resistance. One of the key innovations in the A7C is the 921,000.3 inch side opening very angle touchscreen that gives more flexibility in shooting from unusual angles and of course does wonders in vlogging. On top of that is a 0.39 inch XGA OLED electronic viewfinder. On the left side is a micro HDMI output, a headphone port, a microphone input, USB-C for data and charging, and the memory card slot. This slot is compatible with SDHC and SDXC, both UHS 1 and 2, and is also capable of cable-free digital mic input. It makes use of the NPF Z100 battery and allows 680 shots using the EVF and 740 shots on the monitor. Wireless capabilities include Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and is capable of using the Sony Imaging Edge mobile and desktop app. It also is compatible with the new Imaging Edge webcam application. Shooting with the Alpha 7C was actually a very fun experience. I love how everything can be reached by my thumb or my pointer finger. And every dial, every button is within reach. I can go around shooting with just one hand while maybe holding my bag or my tripod, not having to worry about the camera falling because it's actually very light. I love how... The choices in lenses give you more portability if you're using lighter lenses like this one or maybe even small pancake lenses. I absolutely love how it takes up much less space in my bag, allowing me to bring more lenses or if I actually do want it, I can just pack light. Of course, what's not to love with the very angle screen? It allows me to shoot in comfort. It allows me to shoot from unusual angles, maybe pointing up, pointing down, and I never lose sight of monitoring my frame and my composition. Now, I'm primarily a photographer, but in the rare times that I decide to shoot video, I love how the A7C takes care of everything for me. From the AF tracking to the IAF, and of course, who wouldn't love the 5-axis image stabilization? 
I don't even own a gimbal, but I can walk around and just shoot very comfortably without thinking of too much shake. On top of all that, the battery life with the NPF Z100 is just more than enough for whatever I shoot. And lastly, of course, the image quality never ever disappoints. This allows me to capture the best parts of the day and the moments that I look for in every travel that I do. The very powerful sensor of the A7C captures a great range of light, 15 stops of dynamic range. Now, I'm a landscape photographer and I shoot mostly the harshest times in terms of light. And this allows me to extract the optimal detail and rich color in post-processing. And there we go. I'm sure I enjoyed my experience with the A7C. Maybe it's time for you to try it out for yourself.